What is up you guys? It's your girl Chanel Janae from Around the Way. Hey, hey. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something else you can do instead of bleaching your knots. I have never done so before and I actually will do it next. But for now, I'm showing you something else you can do to have that same effect without having to bleach your knots. So um, this is what my hair looks like when everything is all said and done. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. But let's take a minute and rewind this thing on back to the very beginning. So, look at my little mannequin. Her name is Chanel. <laughs> the little dots that you see there, that's exactly why people bleach their knots. Um, we want the parting to look as natural as possible. So what we're going to do first with the wig is put it on the mannequin inside out, of course. We're going to work from the inside. Some people will put makeup on the outside partings, but for this I wanted to try a new method in working on the inside of the wig. I'm tucking in all of the hair just to protect the strands. I'm going to be using this foundation. It is, if I can never get it open, it's like my skin complexion, probably a little bit lighter, which is fine because that's how our scalp is most of the time anyway, a little bit lighter than our skin tone. And you really just want to have full coverage on that whole lace part. And since this is a full lace wig, I had to do this pretty much all over the inside of this wig. No. Yeah, I realized that that wasn't that smart. But anyway, get it together, Chanel, seriously. But anyway, I'm just continuing to cover all of the lace, even in the back. And I'm getting very, very close to my edges as well, even where there's no hair wrap on the lace, just because I want to be sure to get everything so we're going to be using the got to be glued spray and spraying that all over our first layer of the powder foundation this is going to be what holds it so that it's not falling off and the makeup isn't rubbing all off on your um on your hands you see me smelling it i'm so weird <laughs> And then I'm just letting it dry a little bit. Then you want to go back over that glue or that gel. It's not a glue necessarily. With a second layer of that foundation. And then you're good to go.
So notice how much of a difference that makes. There were so many black dots and now that we've done this, look at the difference. Okay, so now I'm just repeating those same steps to the back of my wig. Like I said, this is a full lace wig. So I wanna be able to part my hair in different ways and maybe do braids at some point or something. So I just want everything to look natural. Once you turn the wig back over to the correct way, you will see that the hair sometimes will have that makeup and powder on it. That's not a big deal at all. Simply take a wet towel or napkin or even a washcloth. I found that to be a little bit more easy and simply wipe the hair, dust the makeup off, use that wet washcloth to kind of clean that makeup off of the hair strands. So now I'm just pulling the hair back so it's out of my way and I'm going to start separating some hair in the front so that I can create some baby hairs. <laughs> Y'all know how we feel about our baby hairs. Yes, so I'm just pretty much sectioning off some hair and then you'll see me cut it because that is way too long to be some daggone baby hair. This little razor thing works really well because it will give that natural effect to your baby hair. I mean, you can use scissors, but baby hairs are not bluntly cut. So if you want it to have that natural look, definitely use a razor. Me rubbing the razor against the, this part of my hair is mainly to fix the density of the wig. Like in most cases for it to have a natural look, we don't just go from having baby hair to having this thick layer of hair right next to it. Your hair is more so thin on your edges, right? So that's the illusion. That's the look that I'm going for. That is it, you guys. I hope that you have learned one way to work around having to bleach your knots. Um, in my next video, I will be showing you how I laid my wig, how I got the baby hairs looking right, 
thank you guys so much for tuning in please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned next week for part two of this video love you